Hi guys, welcome back to Trendy Mommy. In this video, we're gonna show you how to recreate this lovely crochet clutch bag, perfect for a day out or a day to night outfit. For this DIY, we're gonna need hammer, yarn needles, stitch markers, scissors, accessories to close the bag, measurement tape, nine or 10 millimeter crochet hook, chain, t-shirt, yarn. Start by creating a chain of 29. The length of the chain will determine the size of the bag's height. So, the longer the chain, the taller the bag. Foundation row. Skip two chain and insert your hook to the third chain. Single crochet. Then chain one. Skip one chain. Insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through again, then chain one. And again, single crochet, followed by chain one. Then chain one. This is how it should look. Row one, turn your work, then insert the hook into the skip chain from the previous row, and single crochet. Then insert the hook again four more times to create a shell stitch. Yarn over. Pull through. Again, yarn over. Pull through. Yarn over, pull through, then pull through. Make sure to clean up the stitch if you see any openings. Normally, to finish the shell stitch, you'd continue by stitching one. But since we want to recreate the web, we're going to continue repeating the same stitching technique onto the following skip chain. So, single stitch on the next skip chain, then insert in the previous chain, not skipped one, and then repeat the shell stitch. Yarn over, pull through, then pull through, like this. Repeat till you reach the end of the row.
Row 2. Turn your work. Insert the hook into the hole and single crochet. You will notice on the side this long stitch. Insert the hook in it and repeat the shell stitch. Now, continue with another single crochet on the following hole Then insert the hook into the point diagonally from the stitch created and shell stitch. Now move on to the next stitch. Single crochet and repeat till you complete the row. This is how it should look at this point. This is how it should look at this point. To recreate the width of our bag, make a total of 8 rows, or more if you want it wider. Now, to clean up the edge, chain one, then insert the hook in the loop, then slip knot. Find another loop to insert the hook and continue till you reach the end of the side you're working on. To reach the opposite side, we will slip stitch through the long side, but you can seal with a knot, cut the yarn, and start over on the other side. Once you're done, it should look like this. Now, moving on to the sides of the bag. 
Measure how you want the final shape to be. Then add the stitch markers. Take the yarn, insert the hook, then pull the yarn through. Tie a knot to hold the yarn in place. Chain two, insert the hook into the back loop, then single crochet till you reach the marker. Chain one and turn the work. Repeat the single crochet to the end of the row. Depending on the depth of your bag, you can continue with more rows, but for us, that was enough. Now, take your yarn needle and sew the sides to seal the bag. Like so. Repeat to the other side. Almost done. Now clean up the loose ends and tie them inside. Nice and clean. Now, take the bag lock of your choice. You can go with a clip lock or buttons for a minimal look, or go extra with a sparkling twist lock like we did. Each lock gets inserted differently. Look to unscrew the back if needed and lock part of the bag between the two faces of the lock. Make sure to place it in the middle before continuing. Now seal everything together, like so. Now take the other part of the lock and pull in a piece of yarn, about 20 centimeters. Seal with a hammer, then sew the ends on the front side of the bag.
Now, last but not least, grab the chain and hook it to the sides of the bag. And there you have it! Your DIY crochet bag ready to match your day or night outfit. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment below if you need extra help on your DIY's journey. Bye!